So if you have watched my previous video about Atomos Ninja and the legalized function where you're already set for uh, the right track, now there are news and I welcome them in terms that Mr. Lachman comes up with a new false color system that actually is based on Ansel Adams' zone system and this is an absolute beautiful implementation of the analog type of exposure into the digital uh, videography field. Uh, as we know, and you can see here on the monitor, basically a false color code is this uh, colorful map that uh, it expresses exposure in terms of I, R, E values. And those values are very precise, but unfortunately this is a linear scale, it's not logarithmic. So it's quite difficult to create a analogy between one stop of light and a certain IRE value. Number two is the fact that it's quite difficult to communicate with your team, gaffers and electricians and whatnot, in terms of exposure and ask them to increase or decrease the light with a certain numbers of IRE values rather than tell them to do this in stops of lights. So if you want to come back uh, some other time into the same location uh, and uh, recreate the same scene, that would be borderline impossible to do it with an IRE scale if you didn't note down the stops of lights because IRE scale also offers you a range of values rather than a precise point on the scale so this is also quite difficult to do. But what Mr. Lachman did with uh, his new exposure latitude system, he basically uh, created a scale that is telling you, as you can see here, how many stops of uh, light you have above and below middle gray. Now, what you're going to do with this information is entirely up to you. Obviously, you have to know, first of all, how many stops of light your camera can capture above and below middle gray in order to get to make use of this information. And this is nothing that has not been done before. This is a very typical workflow in analog photography and cinematography as well. So instead of giving you uh, a certain value for middle gray skin tones and white clipping point you're going to, to is going to tell you this scale is going to tell you how many stops of light you can capture in your scene that you have framed above and below middle gray so for example you can be easily induced in error by seeing this red uh, colors here on the monitor uh, because red usually uh, is a significant the significance is of a stop or a bad sign but actually if you look into his uh, scale it that red color simply means that you are capturing four stops above middle gray uh, similarly if you look at the blue color uh, here on the side of the image it that uh, light blue it simply tells you that that tone is only three stop above middle gray and that is all so if you're happy with that fine if you're not, you can play around with your ND filtration or aperture and change the exposure as you're liking. Which I think is absolutely valuable and <laughs> it's, uh, it's something that we all wish for and uh, it finally happens. But there is a, a slight issue or maybe not. If you... Uh, remember my previous video about uh, legalized function, we all know that this recorder only accepts a uh, video signal. So if your camera, for example, is set to uh, log as it should be, then you are going to send a log signal into the Atomos Ninja recorder. Well, a log signal is a full signal and this uh, recorder can only record uh, a video level. That was until now. So the workaround that I have described it was to simply go and toggle on the legalized function, 
that means now we're going to compare apples to apples provided obviously you are not using <laughs> a uh, LUT in your camera the LUT in your camera should be off so now with the legalized function uh, on what we happens in the past now we, we would have got the correct uh, exposure levels and you have to remember to turn the legalize function off before recording otherwise what you're going to record will be a log signal with a video level that can be very it will be very difficult to correct this in post if you are using adobe or final cut pro if you are using davinci it you only have to do a right click choose clip attributes and uh, set the signal to uh, full range now i want to give all the credits to the atomos team and i want to believe that the implementation of mr lachman and his uh, l zone system is correct so i want to start with these premises now in order to use his false color scale we must use a log gamma curve this won't work for uh, rec 709 gamma curves it only works for log or ProRes RAW and we have to go into this chapter that we haven't discussed before and we have to toggle the log-hdr toggle on as you can see you are now welcome with a sub menu where you should input your camera manufacturer gamma and gamut but as you can also notice is the fact that you don't have the legalized function on or off anymore you cannot use this so initially I kind of panicked because I said that okay but what will happen with my log signal well let's see so provided this is the correct workflow and now if we are going to in the sub menu and we're going to go back to the original uh, Atomos Ninja scale we're going to see that uh, the window light is somewhere between 59 and 78 IRE because the sun is setting and you have this color code that you, for example you should if you want you can memorize it now if we go back into the menu and we turn the log HDR toggle off and we apply the legalized function and we as we were doing before what we noticed is that the overall false color map code changed okay so to prove you again i'm going to toggle log hdr again and as you can see if i toggle it on and off you can you can clearly see how the the color code changes which means that there is a mismatch but on the other hand if we're going to turn the legalized function off as it is written in the manual and they are clearly saying that if you are uh, in the updated manual they are saying that if you are using a log signal you should not legalize it so if i'm going to turn the legalized function off and then i'm going to turn on the log hdr uh, toggle and use Mr. Lachman a scale or I'm using I can use the same uh, false color code as you can see the false color map doesn't change which means that this time they have done things right in the new OS 11 update and they have corrected the input levels okay this is for me this is crucial and this is exactly what I wanted to do now if i'm going to go into the sub menu and choose the l zone system obviously the color code changes it doesn't look the same but it changes because this new color code does not uh, measure ire levels but measures stops of light which is a, a logarithmic function and is completely different than a linear function of the ire uh, tabletop now further to this addition because we are now in a completely different menu log dash hdr we have the luxury to monitor our signal either natively or in hdr 
but as you can see while I'm toggling to all those modes I do not have a change in the false color map which means that the false color map of Mr. Rahman will always go into monitor the log signal regardless of what we are uh, what type of monitoring we are doing and this is great because on one hand we can uh, scientifically monitor the stops of light above and below middle gray but on the other hand we are welcome with a much more colorful and contrasty image that uh, a PQ mode of monitoring can render compared to for example a more washed out look in the native one and this is an extra plus what I have noticed though and we'll turn the attention to the computer uh, is, is that the only caveat that I could find in this workflow is that when you are going to record your images with the Atomos Ninja the metadata somehow is wrong in terms that uh, if you look at the color uh, gamut and gamma it is always uh, interpreted at rec 709 instead of being as gamut and what I also noticed is that if you are using DaVinci color manage workflow also DaVinci recognizes the files that have been recorded with Atomos Ninja as being rec 709 rather than being as log so you have to manually go and make those changes in DaVinci to get the correct result. Now, I hope that was helpful and uh, at the moment I can clearly say that this product Atomos Ninja 5 works as it's supposed to work. I am encouraging everybody to upload it to the OS 11 and they should also upgrade to the new uh, false color L zone system uh, monitoring way uh, of life and just to remember that if you are shooting log there's no need anymore to legalize the function to get the correct exposure but you should probably give up already on this workflow and adopt the log HDR workflow with the new Lachman false color scale which allows you not only to monitor the log signal but also to appreciate with the naked eye a beautiful HDR image coming from the Atomos Ninja 5. Until next time, all the best.